step forward. Hello, 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 everyone. This is the Captain Diesel, the Loose V, and Professor E, King of the Comics, Ethan Murphy. And we're listening to Then and Now Podcast. Thank you guys for coming in. This is going to be a very interesting episode. Um, a little bit different than what we've been doing lately. We're getting back into reactions. We haven't done a reaction in a good old minute, fellas. Um, and I've had the fellas here send me a list of different trailers and for movies, series, games in our group chat um, just to kind of fix that itch we have for stuff to review. But that being said, guys, how y'all doing? I'm good, man. I'm good. Uh, sorry I missed y'all. I uh, have my birthday celebrations. And then I, of course, uh, <laughs> we got made sure I got a whole bunch of food. So I was I had, had a whole bunch of itis, but I, I'm, I'm doing well. I'm happy to be back. Happy to see y'all, my friend. Your your durex looking crisp and clean. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. Gift from a student. Appreciate you. Uh, what's the name? Oh my god, I'm looking at the name. I remember her name later on. When I remember her name, I'll shout her out. But good. Yeah. Sounds good. No, I'm doing pretty solid. Um, besides the fact that. Well, one of Felicia's friends came over and said that me sitting here doing this podcast makes you look like Doctor Claw from Inspector Gadget with a cat in my lap. That's perfect. I, I can never, I, I can never unhear that. <laughs> That's the greatest thing ever. You can die happy. Happy? No. <laughs> you are like. If we ever do a skit, we gotta do a skit where you're the black like version of a, of a Bond villain. You got the black cat. And you sitting there in the chair. But that, that does raise the question, though. Do you think that the claw from an IG was a brother? I always thought he was. My my mom brought it up, too, because his voice. His voice was pretty deep. I yeah. don't know. I, I It's been a very long time since I've watched Inspector Gadget. So okay. I don't even... Is it streaming? You can find... Well, that it was Disney, on, like, the... Uh, no, it was, it was Nickel, was it, no, it wasn't Nickelodeon. I can't remember. I think you can find it somewhere. Probably on YouTube or something. It's this being said, are we talking about the live action version from like no, the 2000s? Dear God, God no. Christ, okay, I didn't know what you forget. You forget yourself, are, sir. We're talking about something yourself. completely different then. My bad. I'm not The original OG oh Inspector no. Gadget. Yes, the, the one, animated one. series from, yes. ooh, what was that, the 80s? 80s, the, yeah, the 80s. Yeah. Like, Deke, remember, it's, it's, it's a Deke at the end, D-I-C, Deke. Yeah, that was mm. that was that one. Mm. Uh, and the same as Destro. Remember Destro in um, G.I. Joe? The, with the the metal head, the chrome metal head, and that was a brother too, definitely a brother. So yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of like, I mean, they call the Piccolo effect, where there are characters that are clearly black in uh, old school like, cartoons. Piccolo is clearly black. Clearly, brother. Only brother with a more immaculate uh, turban. I almost called it a durag, but turban. Who is his voice actor? <laughs> hey, you can say it. You can say it's a durag. Who, who is his voice actor? I looked that up. I'm gonna find it out. I don't care if he's white. The same, as Vegeta. Like, right? Vegeta. same as Vegeta. Same as Vegeta. Is that who it is? Yes. Sabat did both voices. Yes. Hey, at this point, same, is same not as Zoro. enough for the black community to get the card at this point. More or less. <laughs> I mean, doing Zoro, there's nothing else. I give him for Zoro. Hey man, hey man. I mean, well, well, no, we don't Zoro that we can't. We can't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Zoro literally wears a do rag in one piece. He puts a he puts a do rag on when he fights. Yeah, in but he when he's he fighting a lot. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's putting that do rag on for a lot of African Americans. It's like when Craven no. the Hunter's wearing a, a lion jacket on. Like, when you were hunting, that's what the same shit. Same logical plot. <laughs> we gotta be Craven the Hunter. That's oh god, that that. That's the whole mystery. Uh, and, and, you, but, and you said you saw Madame Webb and you loved it, right, Charlie? You said that was your favorite movie of the year? Felicia's literally I'm, watching that right now, and I'm just like... Mm. Cool. I wanted to see it because I, you know, I had a little little thing for Sydney Sweeney after watching Euphoria, so I was like, hey, that's, that's good sure. milk. I'm going to go check that out. <laughs> that's good milk. That's good milk. <laughs> that's a lot of... Hey, man. Jeez. Hey, man. Oh, God. We're, we're, we're here to react to trailers. Please, we're please. Trailers. Trailers. Are, that, 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 <laughs> hey, I was going there. Hey, I, I didn't take it here. That, that I didn't take it here. Horrible, horrible, horrible turn. Oh, you asked yeah. me how I was. I'm sorry. I still don't know how you are. I, I'm even no less now about you than did before. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, guys. So to start the list off, I'm going to go kind of look in pretty much an order of the ones we have in the chat. Uh, first up is The Crow. Let me get that shirt in here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, um, I, remixed, I, I'm never like going in with a, a, a positive connotation of it. 
That's what I say. Yes, Otis doesn't do positive that much. It's rare. But that is that is not true. Because invincible <laughs> is fantastic. Okay. I can hear that, right? Yes. Hear Otis. Okay, I was making sure. Yeah. No, the tracks was trailer. Oh, that too. Okay. Okay. What's the first thing you liked about me? The face tat is wild. I thought that you were yeah. quite brilliant and broken. She's cute. Hey, yo. <laughs> you feel like my past. I think so. PG. Damn, you were lying. Bill Scott's car got shredded I told you that buff. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Danny Houston, never a, a, a good guy. Only villains now. Okay, thank God. I don't think there's any sexual assault. Thank God. That's the oh, one thing yeah. I did not want to drop back. Please, I don't. I, don't, I, I can't. I, I can't do it again. We, we we don't know definitively, but hopefully not. I love this song. When someone died, this looks almost like an A twenty four movie. I know it's not, but it looks like it. It could be yeah, the, the light for it is spectacular. I could, yeah, I could definitely yeah. see the A twenty four. I don't know how I feel about the mullet, man. But that's it, it's fitting for that character. He's looking grimy, so I get it. Fair enough, yeah. Until you put the wrong things right. Because Brandon Lee had like a just longer hair. Yeah, he's. Mm -hmm. he's a, he... You were given the. Him with a blunderbuss. God. Damn. Mm -hmm. But you're running out of time to say. Oh shit! Oh, that looks fire. Yeah. He pulls on some Wolverine shit. Choo! Okay, his face is gone. It's like Wolverine, like patch. They don't think they showed Brandon Lee like healing in real time today. I'm killed you. Yeah. No, it, it wasn't. Yeah, I don't think so. It wasn't like Wolverine. We have a problem. No, it was always like off screen. Yeah. Oh, the sword. Okay. I don't know what's up for a Katana. Before, you didn't have a sword before, right? And, uh, he no, did not. No, he was just using guns beforehand. Yeah. It would make sense for him to use a sword because he's just like he can tank through bullets. Right. He probably has it in the comics, I'm guessing. And, uh, it's love. Yeah, that'd be a good thing. Okay. Alright. Yo. You know I do, hell awaits you. That's fire, that's cold. Good. That's cold. No, I do. He's throwing point bags of heads at people, man. How many people have you lost? Look at that, there, there. Yeah, somebody shot. So, Otis, I gotta say it real quick. You know, he reminds me of that last walking shot. You know, he reminds me of, right? Uh... Begins, with, begins with a chase, ends with a. Briarlands. I mean, Grave Digger. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like grave that. Digger. I mean, <laughs> essentially that. I, I. Yeah, pretty much. Just, I mean, Chase. Chase goes away differently. No, yeah. I mean, it's just that one shot. Yeah, kind of yeah, yeah. yeah. But no, um. I mean, my favorite thing about that trailer was definitely the song. Um, the rest of it wasn't bad. Um, it, it doesn't look like something that's going to be like you know boring. I, I I I need to see a little bit more narrative to like really know how much to invest in this. If it's just going to be a shoot 'em up, I mean that's cool. Uh, they, yeah, I'm they fully some... expecting supernatural John Wick. Like I'm not expecting. Too that's much exactly more. what it looks like. No, that, that's, that's exactly all I need from like. it. If you give me some dope fight scenes with his powers looking kind of cool. Plus, Bill Skarsgård, from everything I've seen him in, he's a great actor. So if he can bring some sort of depth to the character, which I'm sure he will, that's even fine. I don't. Again, I don't know who's writing the film. I got to look up to see who the writer and the director is. I don't know who's directing it. From the shots that I saw, it looked like the director, at least from the uh, director of photography, like the tonality of it and some of the shots look really fucking sick from the trailer. Um, again, it, it has the makings to at least being like a solid seven, maybe eight to me. Um, which is fine. Like I, I'll be fully happy with that. Just fight going Friday night. Go get some good food. Go watch a good action movie. I'm cool with it. Um, uh, that's that's what I hope. Six point five ish. Six point five. Uh, but I mean, 
Uh, there's a there's several six point fives I go back to rewatch. So hey, I mean, mm. yeah, I mean, a good time is a good time. I haven't seen the original Crow in a minute, but I remember like enjoying that back in the nineties when it first came out. I do like Bill Skarsgård, everything from it to like you said, Barbarian. Mm-hmm. Uh, another trailer we're gonna watch here. The dude's on fire, and he's also just he, he's he's a delightfully weird person from a kind of mm-hmm. like a historic family of actors. I and mean, his dad was just in Dune two, killing it. So, uh, so yeah, I, I enjoy it. And this movie does look very much like a medieval, super, uh, supercharged uh, Wolverine meets John Wick. So, of course, I got to at least check it out. Uh, the dude walks up into an opera hall, throws bags of heads. Throws bags of heads, Charlie. What are you doing? Right, yourself? right. So, I mean, we got that get... from uh, the the Red Mask uh, Batman animated series. Oh, oh, oh Red, 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 Red movie. Yeah. 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 Chris and Cobar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Crimson I'm, Crowbar. So, yeah. So, yeah. Crimson Crowbar, man. Hey, I, I forgot about that's that. Amazing. I appreciate you. That's his, Crimson that's Crowbar. Yeah. I'm here for I'm it. I'm hoping for I'm hoping for the best stuff. Um because thanks to your point, even I don't think I've seen um Bill Scarzer turn in a bad performance yet. Again, the worst thing about Barbarian that it was that he died early in it. <laughs> Spoilers. Like, I'm like, if you ain't seen that shit by now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> up for like Sorry. a couple, Sorry. like half a year now at this point, damn near. No, no, like two. Oh, um, has it been that long now? Oh, nigga, I definitely Wait, don't feel sorry. The, 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 the barbarian that came out with uh, his brother too. Uh... No, the horror oh, movie. Oh, the, the horror movie. The oh, movie. Right. yeah, that's because called I'm, Barbarian. That one. Yeah, yeah it's called Barbarian. Thinking, I think I'm thinking of a different movie. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was, it was one, you, you think of that Netflix one? Okay. It, it was pretty. It was in theaters. Uh, no, oh yeah, the one where, it, where it's like a weird like he's like they end up like eating yeah, cannibals and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, that one. Yeah. They are barbarians, but that's not called barbarian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The a movie disappointed me a little bit. I don't know how it was you like the trailer looked sick and it looked like it was going to be kind of like North a scary or a haunting. The Northman. Yeah, that was a show though. Oh, that no, one. Oh, was, Northman. Yeah. Oh, you talking about that? Well, okay, that's a different thing altogether. Yeah. <laughs> that's something else altogether yeah. too. Dude, that's what Bin- Binland Saga, but but uh, god awful, god awful. <laughs> That was we're getting again. The tangents are punching us in the mouth. But I remember, did you say that you and Felicia like walked out of that one or something, or tried yes. to? They they would let yes, you. Yes, we did. Yeah. We, we okay. literally did. We literally yeah. walked out. Uh, uh, anyways, anyways, we're talking about what we're talking about now. The crow, <laughs> crow starring okay. Bill Scars. This should yeah. be better it's than just, that. Hopefully, that's all, again. I'm expecting a solid movie. Uh, solid, I'm expecting a good performance from Bill Scars and. Hopefully to support again. I don't know too much of the supporting cast. I think Ethan, you said you recognize him in the Danny cast. Houston. Yeah, y'all know Danny Houston. So Danny Houston for the for a while, he was <laughs> he's been a bad guy in everything from Wolverine Origin X-Men Origins to remember that movie Otis Three Days of Night. Wait, was he playing Striker? Was that thing he was playing William yeah, Striker? He's, he's William oh, okay. Striker. In, in that version yeah. of William Striker. Yeah, that version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Three Days of he's Night. Solid. He's a good actor. He's he's also part from the family. His Angelica Houston's his uh, sister, right? And then their dad was uh with John Houston, I think his name John Houston, the guy from Chinatown. But um the in uh, Thirty Days of Night, he was also a bad guy. He was like a head vampire in that movie, which is based mm-hmm. on the graphic novel. The graphic novel was really good too. If you haven't, haven't read that, so uh, so he's if it comes to having a, a an OP villain that seems that brings a prestige and a class to it, I can I'm glad to cast him. It's a very different beat from the original bad guy in The Crow, where he's pretty much like a you know a mm-hmm. meth dealer. This guy seems like he has some mm-hmm. so. Yeah, I'm excited, yeah. man. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a fun movie to just turn your brain off to and, and watch. Uh, if you're looking for narrative, this might not be your thing, but... And again, to your point earlier, I don't know how comic accurate this is going to be. It may be more. I haven't read the Crow comics at all, so I don't know. Me either. I may have to do some research into the verse and try to see if I can find some stuff about the comic. Barely um, over it, yeah. I was just say, like, all I wanted was take out the sexual soul, add in some more action. That's uh, cool. I got I got everything I wanted. Yeah. And the special effects yeah. are going crazy, because I'm, I'm always a fan of the Wolf Ring shit, like... Mm. To me, it looks like a cool blend of the CG and the practical effects. They were like showing the skin reforming and shit. Yeah. Um, and it looks like he's going to have a very Wolverine type of fighting style where he's kind of moving in with reckless Just abandonment. Yeah. Um, oh, you know, so it reminded I'm, me of, I'm excited for it. It was, you know, y'all know Tokyo Ghoul, right? The end of the beginning, the first mm-hmm. part of Tokyo Ghoul, kind of that idea as far as just like when he cut, when he breaks bad. Yeah. That's what I'm That's what I'm expecting. Undead on luck. Same Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's very. He looks like that kind of in a way. Yeah, mm-hmm. same, his same dress code. That's Andy. That's Andy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you guys, any closing remarks on that before we move on to the next one? Cool. Uh, yeah, I'll next do the up, first one. You said what? So you try to outdo the first one. We're gonna see. I think that's like a cult classic for a lot of people. Just it is. because I mean, of also, it's, it needs to happen with it. 
Yeah, which and it, it's bizarre too. In this trailer, we see him clearly taking a lots of gunfire. It's it's a weird role. Yeah, to him. yeah. Like, I just like, I'd be freaked yeah. out doing that. I ain't gonna hold you. I'd be like right. nervous as fuck with every scene. I'm not gonna lie to you. I would too. I would too. Honestly. But all right, next up, we got the acolyte. This is something that I'm excited as fuck for. Mm, I'm, I'm hoping. I'm hoping they get it right. I've been waiting to see Jedi's and Star Wars in a minute. Close your eyes. Your eyes can deceive you. We must not trust them. Tell me what comes into your mind. Yo, you recognize that dude? Couldn't see it. I hear the voice, but I couldn't hear it. I couldn't see his face. Life. Balance. I see fire. They're all British. Of course, Trinity. Oh, okay. oh. Hands. oh. oh. Jedi's with hands. The locks too. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It doesn't make sense. They have the sense of the too. That haircut all Brett brothers have now in video games. Yeah, the Killmonger. Oh shit, that's but Hi. Um, yeah, Squid Games from uh, Squid Games. Squid Games. Yeah. Squid games. Oh, that wasn't Han? I thought that was, yeah. No, no, it's the dude from the. It's a Squid Game character. character. Honestly, I didn't know he spoke English. I'm not gonna lie to you. Fluently. This isn't about good or bad. That yeah, music, though. This is about power. And who is allowed to use it? Yeah, music, though. What is that? Bring. Look at that. All right, that's some bullshit. You can't tease me like that it's and not teaser. give me anything. That's the point. It's they a didn't teaser. Give me anything. You that's paid bullshit. for a teaser. Oh my god. It looked clean. It looked look clean. clean. That, yeah, audio was great. Right. Look <laughs> I was literally <laughs> looking for like a, a hint of a, a sit that I recognized or something. They didn't give a shit out of that. Oh, um, so that was, I'm this, excited. This is Knights of the Old Republic era, right? So this is this is no. Plagueis's era, right? No, so this before, is um if I remember correctly, that I, no, this is a little before this is way before that too. I had to look I gotta pull up the timeline. They released like, a like official timeline of the eras. This may be in the High Republic era, which is after the old republic. It's like the prime of the Jedi Order, where like right. they won all the still stuff of all Jedi basically. There's basically no yeah, they're they they rule supreme. Yeah, because it's they're they're kind of pretty much getting to the rule of two to where Obviously, the you have the Sith Master and the Sith Acolyte, and then the Acolyte's supposed to overturn the Master, and that's how the process goes on. Um, right. Like, so really, like the natural state of the Sith isn't to have like a huge army like you would have an older public. It's to have like low numbers where they're only traveling in pairs of two for that reason. Right. There, um, right. but, but I'm excited I, I, for this though because they seem like this. So this is not the Plagueis era. This is, this, this no, this. I mean, Plagueis is like a hundred or something years old, if I remember right. So this is this, yeah, this is like for him. I don't know. I gotta look, let me look at the official timeline. We gotta talk real quick. So one of the things they I noticed it. that it's obvious that's our boy from Squid Games, and from what I saw, because this, this is they showed the D twenty three think last year or like a while ago, whatever. And so the, there was y'all remember uh, Wolverine's daughter in the Logan movie, Daphne mm -hmm. Keene, mm -hmm. X twenty three. So that's she's in this too. She's like the alien with like the white makeup on. She's, she's that's the, her. That's her. She's like the okay. now, but that, that's her. I, I don't yeah. think I ever saw her as an adult act anything. That's crazy to me. Look, look at her. Look her up. It's like wow, that's the same person. She grew up a lot. Uh, but so they got Daphne Keen up in here too. But the fight. What I what I'm hoping this will do at least is not hold back on, uh, on the fights. If it's if it's doubling down the idea of like this, like you said, the rule of two. What the idea this is a, is a acolyte trying to ascend to being a full blown Sith. With Sith, they can only be two. By that means, oftentimes you got to kill off a third one. So, so we'll see. Yeah, I mean, I, I watch Star Wars for Jedi versus Sith stuff. This is Jedi versus Sith stuff. So, but I, I hope it turns out well. At the very least, uh, I mean, we've seen the fight scenes look pretty clean so far. Yeah, yeah. And they got. I mean, the thing is, they got Carrie Ann Moss and Carrie Ann Moss, aka Trinity, aka the Matrix, Golden Era Matrix. So, they have I mean, a stack they, cast. They have a stack yeah. cast for this. Yeah, if they bring some of that in there, I'm. She sees me, at least see some good action, if nothing else. If nothing else. Yeah, some from, good action. They look like the fight choreography was going to be pretty solid from what I saw um, from that, the split second trailer we got. Yeah. 
Um, okay, so I got the official timeline. Uh, I'm looking at it right here. I'll probably share my screen so I can see it so we can get a whole nother. So this is the new official timeline that Disney released on like the entire timeline of Star Wars from the dawn all the way up into the new order stuff with this uh, trilogy. I, if I remember right, this is going to fall right around here in the High Republic era, um, which is this, the Fall of the Jedi stuff was like around the Skywalker stuff where the, where Plagueis died at and Sidious took over and then you had the whole Anakin stuff popping off. Um, so I think this is going to fall right, right around here in this timeline, if I remember right. I could that's be wrong, that's, but... That's right, the prequels then, basically, because the prequels take place like right there for that too. Keep in mind, these are like hundreds of possibly thousands right. of years apart in between each one. So I think this is like a couple hundred years before this happens, because the higher because by the time you get to the, um, they could be closer in, in length. Because I'm looking at Yoda, because Yoda was Yoda may make an appearance in this, because Yoda was like 300 or 400 years old. If I remember right. right. He, yeah, that's um, what I heard. I heard he's like he pretty much like prime in his prime essentially. That's what I, yeah, because I think I think everybody just wants to see Yoda and Yaddle, um, and you can see them in this because again, that race is just they live to be like a thousand plus, I think. Um, which I you may you because I'm trying to remember what era you saw the Mandalorian War because I do think that's going to be a big thing as well later on when it comes to showing the Jedi versus the Mandalorian and getting into the Old Republic stuff where you get the Mandalorian Jedi War. I think that's going to be somewhere in the Old Republic, maybe somewhere in between. I don't know. Again, when they release like actual like years, like or like before like before the Battle of Yavin or after the Battle of Yavin, then we'll Yavin will know. But that's where I can speculate things are gonna happen at. Um okay. but yeah, I'm 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 oh, excited. I'm excited to see how this turns out. I've been waiting to geek out about more Star Wars stuff for a minute. I'm probably about to get back into my Star Wars nerd bag once that show drops. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm excited. Cool. Yeah, uh, I mean I I I'm I'm hoping to see the Series get back into a better reception. I mean, the Ahsoka was taking lukewarm. Uh, I, I enjoyed it. Um, mm-hmm. That third season of Mando was, uh, yeah, it was lukewarm. I, yeah. I, the, the last episode was cool. Um, Bad Batch just recently ended, and I have not watched enough of it. Uh, I think I'm probably like in the second season. Yeah, I'm way behind. I'm like yeah. on the second season as well. I liked what I saw of it. Um, I think this is just the fact yeah, that I mean, they most gave people her, only uh, care uh, about the Jedi and the Sith. Yeah, right. They, I mean, they gave uh, the the girl, uh, you know, a space bow. So I mean, that's cool. That, that, that's, that I figured you like that, <laughs> um, right? Space, but, that's, yeah, space bow. That's right now. I, like I, I don't know what projectile bow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah I'm cool, only like though. four episodes, four or five episodes deep. That's all I know. Yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty. I enjoyed I, it. I, if you mean if you if you watch the Clone Wars, you'll probably enjoy it because it's just a continuation of like. That uh, that group of clones right. from the show that you saw there. Um, it just depends on where you're at. But again, I'm expecting great things from that, especially for the fact that we know Filoni and Favreau are hitting up all the movies and the shows of the Star Wars universe going forward. So we've gotten out of the hands of the people that did not know what the fuck they were doing, obviously. And we got George Lucas's wild ideas for stuff. Did, 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 did y'all know about what his plan was for the Metaclorians? Did y'all no, hear that? I, shit? I know he's. I know he's popping off about other stuff. He's, <laughs> but I don't know this. I, I just know they were gonna give Taika a Star Wars movie, and I was just like, thank God that that didn't happen. Oh, so, but so, but so, what is playing with Metaclorians? So, for people that don't know, Metaclorians in general were like they're almost like a power level scaling in Star Wars. Where if you look at the prequels, they use the Metaclorian levels to determine how strong a Jedi would be. So it's like power scaling. George Lucas's idea was for the Metaclorians not just be a power scaling, but for them to be actual microscopic people in a different microscopic world that lived inside of people or on some other plane of existence. Huh. So then you would go to like, I don't know how, what he planned to, how he planned to visit them or plan to communicate with them, but the Metaclorians were a race of people that lived within everything. Oof. So I'm just like, okay, that makes no fucking sense. How did they communicate? How does that work? Right. I don't know. It was stupid. He had like, he, had, he came up with some good stuff, but that was worth it. I'm like, I'm so glad he sold it right before he was able to pull that shit off. Cause that would have, yeah. I think that would have tanked Star Wars even worse than anything else. If he would have implemented that shit. <laughs> well, cause yeah, they, they, they Star mentioned Wars it. Quantum Mania. That's what it literally, literally, yeah, literally would have been that. Yeah, literally would have been that. Yep. Cause if, to the best of my memory, there's only like, like a couple of lines in episode one about the midichlorians. And after that, it's kind of like you don't hear any more about it at all in the movies. Uh, maybe it's yeah, away from this, but for yeah, a good reason. Like, 
Yeah, because it was like, <laughs> <For> what? Because <laughs> the whole point of the force is you can't really measure it. Or, it, it he says it in the other movies, you can't measure it or see it or quantify it. So for him to kind of negate that by having it actually quantified directly by these Metachlorian counts, like, what, what, huh? Just so it, it makes sense in terms of like how much you have. It's, again, it's like chakra where a certain individual may have a higher Metachlorian count, which makes them stronger in the but you don't measure so. chakra there's no like oh you're, you have 17 chakras like what no it doesn't, it doesn't work that way it's, it's like so, in naruto you can measure chakra levels like as no, far no, as like naruto has the highest chakra reserve out of any character in that show well i mean i'm talking about, I'm talking about more more t- typical buddhist teachings of oh, literal so chakras China, yeah yeah you can't really literally, literally measure it so i i'm glad that was abandoned i'm glad they moved away from that, that idea i'm glad it's keeping the force mysterious it makes it interesting when you try to explain it away with specifics it gets less and less engaging yeah, it was more so just a way to like scale up how strong Anakin was and relate because they're like, oh, well, his Metachlorian count rivals Yoda, so this is how strong he has the potential to be. They tried to scale how strong Anakin was because he was a baby of the Force essentially, but it's the whole thing. That was just an interesting thing. factoid for anybody that was a Star Wars nerd and wanted to know that. Um, but moving into the next trailer, now we're getting to some video games, y'all. Uh, first up on this list is Dragon Dog Dragon's Dogma Two. Yes, I did sir. not play the original Dragon's Dogma, so I don't have much relation to it, so I'm going to kind of go in cold. Mm. Um, but from the mm. gameplay I've seen, like in snippets, it looks fire. The it's, gameplay yeah, is going to be pretty high tier. Uh, the trailers yeah. have looked pretty uh, solid thus far. I haven't seen the official like main trailer for it, but I mean, I love the first one. Um, my only gripe against it is the, they have like a multiplayer-esque feature where you can send like, you know, your companion to your friends and other people around, but you can't actually like drop in and play with your friends yeah, do that. yeah. Um, if they did that this would probably be my biggest obsession period but uh I'll, this is when i'll grab and i'll play gradually but uh, I, it's gonna take me a while to finish it yeah i mean because I, I played the first one as well i mean otis and i because yeah otis and i both played the first one and then you talked about the anime that was on uh, netflix together which was the, solid. Um, solid i think the first one came out in 2012 or 2013 and it was a ps3 game and it was mm-hmm. awesome I, I enjoyed it a lot and i was mentioned before the biggest nuance with this game or the previous game at least was the pawns system for those who don't know the pawns basically that's, that's how you like you go to like this ruin and you bring in other players the characters they create you bring them into your game and have them so let's say otis makes an op uh like you know bow master that's kind of they can shoot all kinds of crazy stuff. I bring Otis's character into my game, put him on my squad. I have a, I have a master archer. That's how it works. I can't play with Otis, but I can play with what he created. So to speak. Yes. Well, let's go ahead and get into the trailer. See what they have to offer in Dragon Dogma Two. My guess is the the combat's just going to be superbly high level. Bananas. Graphics are severely upgraded. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it looks fucking beautiful. I make no but it's still familiar. The like they, they did a job, like you know, making it seem like a person, but clearly uh, upgraded. Yeah, it's like it's an update, but still within in the same vein. Oh, that looks sick. Yeah, it's 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 fire. It's, it's a great game. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And that's the big part of the game is mounting these creatures to take them down. It's it's like what you wish you like how wish you uh I can't talk right now how clean you wish Monster Hunter was. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's by the same company, Capcom. So I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's kind of like Monster Hunter meets like a uh, from like Elden Ring or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, honestly, that's like the perfect uh, comparison. That's it. Oh, obviously. she ran up the ice. What? Mm-hmm. That's crazy. That's what I'm saying. The combat is crazy in this, man. Well, they upgrade the combat because you have mixtures of vocations. So you're not just mm-hmm. a master archer, you can be a master archer and a master magi- uh, sorcerer. Right. Or a base of probably my build. And a thief. Fast your strength of will, one. Look at that, Look at that. Yeah, I'm excited to see what the customization is. This looks like how deep it gets. Like, like yeah. you know, there are like four different types of archer, and I have to make one of all of them. Yeah. <laughs> But also, just watching them like a loose, like the, it just it looks it looks fantastic. I can't, I can't, I just can't. Oh, by the way, I did. I went and pre-ordered it today. So we have it already set coming our way, uh, Charlie. So what? I pre-ordered it today. But I get paid on Thursday, so I'm gonna get Rise of Ronin. Um, when I get paid. That was sick. I go, oh, hey, if now this is maybe a lot to ask for because this would be like the perfect game to ever exist if it could happen. If we get that level of combat and we get like. 
50 to 60 percent of the story that we would get in like a Boulder's Gate or a Mass Effect as far as you choosing what how you can go about your story. This, hey, I may you, y'all may have to. I may not touch grass for a little bit. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> touch grass. <laughs> I may not touch grass for a bit. <laughs> I'm not gonna because I like I ducked off and disappeared into Boulder's Gate three because the story was good. If I get that level of storytelling and world building with the gameplay that I just saw, yeah, you're not gonna see me for a minute. I'm making million builds. I'm making so, millions. So, so one thing I will say, and obviously others can attest to this as well. The reason it's dealing with the dragon's dogma is because essentially a dragon. An OP dragon kind of like kills you, and long story short, you inherit like his part of his heart or what have you. But you're obsessed with killing this dragon, so your whole quest is to get OP enough to battle an OP dragon that you see in the opening. Essentially, I'm not sure how much I'll get, how much further you get into that, but it's like that alone. That narrative is very much like you know like a kind of a seinen st- story, and mm-hmm. so to speak. Did they make an anime adaption off of that too, or am I tripping? No, they did. It was a Netflix. Yeah, they had that. Mm-hmm. What, okay. Are you thinking, are you thinking of um? No, you're thinking of the uh, what, what's Dota. Dota, Dota right. borrows from this story as well, even though it's a game as okay. well. But it borrows from. I mean, they, they got both, like Dragons Dogma is an anime as, as well as Dota. Yeah, well, not an anime, yeah. it's an animated series on Netflix. Right, but I know Charlie's seen Dota. That's what yeah, I've seen Dota. Dota. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm excited for this, bro. I'm so excited. I, I mean, the customization is there too. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm sick lit for that. I, I gotta um, see what the black character customization mm-hmm. looks like. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, it looks clean. Very I mean, clean. The combat was ahead of its time back then. Like, Almost too much. Yeah. There's some games that still can't do some of the things that you could do in Dragon's Dogma One. Mm-hmm. So seeing what they've upgraded in this one, I mean, they're they're they're, they're looking like a pack leader when it comes to combat. Uh, the first one came out what twelve years ago. I think it was 2012 or 2013. Let me look up right quick. It's been a minute. 12 years ago. It was, it was almost a cult hit. It wasn't like a mm-hmm. big, like, big like one. no one really knew about it. But the people that no. played it, it was like, this is great. Yeah. Story medium. So, uh, like, there are like minor choices that you can make in the original, but you're not going to be able to, like, you know. Well, so, like, the way the game kind of works is you do choose your own path. Like, you don't have to, like, oh, I start here and I go to, you know, this village and I go to the next village and so on and so forth. Like, you you get dropped in the world kind of Elden Ring style and you got to figure it out. And, of course, I'm uh, I'm guessing, like, you know, the order that you accomplish certain things may, uh, like, adjust the story to a degree. But I can't imagine that you're going to get, like, you know, Baldur's Gate, like, oh, you can might you might end in two different parts of the planet, basically. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it, that's not the the heart of the story. Uh, so it is. It came out in 2012, the original version, and then it yeah, had, had like an updated version uh, in 2013 or 14. But the yeah, as Charlie, I'm sorry, as Otis said, it's not going to give you the overwhelming. You have that much of an impact on the world. I don't believe it's much more about the impact you have on your characters in the world, and the, the team you're building. Like uh, they had, the big thing about this game is. No two teams of characters or even characters themselves will look alike. Um, even though Otis may make an archer, if I made an archer, my archer may look completely different and play completely different than his does. Because they have like four main vocations, Dev, but then within that, they have like five vocations within that too. So they have like assassin archers or they have like magic archers or they'll have a similar magic archers. Uh, uh, yeah. So it's. Uh, yes and yeah, no. Yeah. Yes and no. There's, there's similarities. Yeah, it's one of those things you can't you kind of have to play to see what it what it's really like. It's a very different kind of. I, I, we've all played a bunch of RPGs and everything else. But this is a very different kind of game. From the combat, because I know that's a lot of the stuff that people talk about when it comes to games that take this big of hiatus before a sequel is was the hiatus worth the amount of upgrades you get? Do you guys feel like the upgrade and like uh, for one graphically, obviously, because again, this just happens to happen inherently with a decade gap. Um, but like the combat system, do you think the combat system was a big upgrade from what you saw? Did it warrant like a twelve year time lapse? It didn't need a whole lot of upgrading. I mean, like, I'm sure there's going to be some, like, they, they gave us a snippet in the trailer, like, you know, being able to jump off of constructs that you create and, and you know, but, like, the game was, like I said, it was so far ahead of its time now. Just being up able to update that with higher level graphics is almost enough. I'm sure they uh, added some, like you know, tips and tricks to make it tweak and feel updated, but they didn't need much. Yeah, it wasn't really that flawed. I mean, the same 
same sometimes systems like obviously you you, you still put the same com, uh, command to do a Hadouken now as you did you know twenty or twenty thirty years ago. So it's the same thing as some games. The actual gameplay itself is already refined. You may tweak a thing here or there, but ultimately, it, if it ain't broke, we'll see, man. Um, any other further thoughts on it before we move on to the next trailer? I'm excited. I'm hyped, man. I, I literally have a countdown on my. <laughs> I have a countdown now on, on our PS5. Is this sleeper for game of the year? He's definitely a sleeper for game of the year. I hope so. That'd be fun. Yeah. We gotta see what the rest yeah. of the year throws. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna sit up. I'm gonna go like download that tonight. We'll get it set to download so we can, we can get to that get to, get right to business. Friday. The toughest thing for me now is trying Friday to figure out what games I delete so I have time for this. True. This is Thanks. like, bro. I'm letting shopping near the summer, so like. My job, I won't have as big of a workload with the, with the students being gone as much. I get to pretty much chill for a lot of the summer. So I'm going to have time to just, like, be musty in the house playing the game. Uh, you, you know you do something right if you're musty in the basement. Between, yeah, that's right. Between these two games and Helldivers dropping, I'm like, hey, bro. Yeah, like, Helldivers I, is hitting. And oh, then man. also they got the, the DLC for Helldivers, and they got the DLC for Elden Ring coming out in a few months, because in June, beginning of June. Man, I have to so dust off my, my Elden Ring. I'm about to dust myself out to traumatize myself a little bit more. Uh, yeah, Nick has been <laughs> offering to drag uh, me through the story, because I still haven't finished it. I'll take I you got up until Melandra, and then I never beat Melandra, and then I stopped playing, because I was like, I'm not doing this to myself. I'm so, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't quit games often, but that was one where I was like, yeah. But she's optional, too. That's the thing. Done. She's I'm optional. Done. And her and her mom is in the is in the um, DLC. She's like one of the big bads. You've seen the trailer for that, right? I have not. Oh my god! Let me go that way. I'll add that one in now. Uh, that's a bit. Let me grab this joint, Charlie Wilson. Right. Set of ramp this up. But now we have Rise of the Ronin. This is one that I'm looking forward to because it's giving me, from what I saw, it's giving me ghost of Rated M vibes. for mature. Oh. Trailer. I was about to say. They back off. <laughs> it's like it's never been. Japan. Great hunting white whale that's eluded all others. Okay, so I see what like time era this is. Clear. And my harpoon ready. The name is Jules Brunet. I just need the Frenchman too. Folks who I can teach to fight from scratch. Those graphics, man. As an interpreter, yeah. I have many contacts, you see. And though I cannot fight like you... So this is meant to be somewhat historically accurate or influenced with the game? So what? Is this meant to be like somewhat historically inspired or historically influenced? I'm guessing so. I don't think other people are as historically accurate, but the time period is as far as some like of the... When the Western world, when we the colonized Japan. to the foreigners. I have some contacts in the shortnet. If you are interested in doing a favor for them, Graphics. I could make the necessary arrangements. Yeah, this is this this looks like Dynasty Warriors with the more story. I'm expecting you with story. Play your part as well. Yeah, because it's by the same team that did Neo, Neo One and Neo Two, which are which are great. Some of our favorites. Bond makes both parties involved stronger. But but it looked like Dynasty Warriors. Well, the, yeah, but the, I mean the combat's different. I, yeah. Oh, we get the wikis. Okay. We get these scraps. Oh, you these bayonets that suit. They got. Japan's future. They got the flintlock rifles. I love flintlock rifles. The time to show the world the tenacity of our play. The day of reckoning is at hand. Friendly. This cast is over. Look at this, Look at this one game. I'm going to need you. Do they want to give us every side. character in the main story? It seems like it. So I think, yeah, I think that was just to, like to highlight the story because I think I remember I saw some other stuff that was showing like him flying on a kite, and different things of that nature, some of the parkour aspects of it. Plus, yeah. it's, a, it's two of them. You, you control two at once. It's him and like his sister, the twins. This essentially looks like what I want from an upgrade on Ghost of Tsushima. As far right. as upgrading the combat, the stealth, and the traversals, all I really wanted out of that game. 
Um, the graphics, I, I don't from what I've noticed, the graphics didn't look as pretty as Ghost. Maybe it'll yeah. look different once I get it. Um, yeah. But I'm excited. The gameplay looks it looks smooth. I'm always down. Yeah, yeah. You already know me how I get down when it comes to any kind of feudal era of Japan or anything around that time period. Yeah, gameplay looks solid. Um, they didn't like wow me with the story. Like nothing. None of the characters was like like oh that that guy seemed cool. Uh, besides, I mean your your character is solid, especially I mean his fighting ability clearly, but. Uh, it, it looks like a game like I might slum it to eventually when the, the price goes down. This definitely yeah. is going to be like the game equivalent of The Crow for me, where it's like I'm going in for the action, the gameplay, and I'm out. I'm in and out. <laughs> in and out of that story. And, and I'm going to have fun while I'm doing it. That's fun. I mean, that's the thing, too, when it comes to video games. I mean, sometimes you just want to have a I mean, we're all playing Helldivers 2. What is the story in Helldivers 2? Democracy no. shoots you in the face. So, I mean, I, 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 I'm having fun. Mer- yeah, Merca. That's literally the plot is Merca. <laughs> this one looks, I mean, again, it's by Neo. The people, uh, Otis and I love playing Neo, Neo 1 and Neo 2. It's about the same team that did those games. Mm-hmm. Um, and those are very, very fun, experience, combat heavy, heavy games. And they're very hard. <laughs> they are not easy by any means. So uh, I'm looking to forward to having a new. very skilled to get through those games. So, yeah. You have to be. You have to be. So I'm looking forward just to actually, if what, I, what I've heard also the other people from early players and everything is that you, it's, it is kind of, it, you, there are, your choices do matter in the sense that if you spare a guy that you fought and that guy later on may come into the story, he may join your team, different things like that happen too. So, yeah. I just want somebody to, to mimic what they did for uh, Shadows of Mordor. That, uh, right. Oh, uh, oh, oh that the uh, Nemesis uh, Apparently they're doing that with the they're probably doing that with the Wonder Woman game that they're working yeah, on. Yeah, I, I did hear Rock that. Rocksteady's working on a Wonder Woman game as an introduced that. Where is it? Because I, I thought they, I, the thing is, I thought they patented that. So you'd, it would have to be mm-hmm. under the same studio or, I guess, affiliated with it for them to use it again. I mean, well, no, I don't think Arkham, the Rocksteady's patented that their combat system at all, the free flow combat system. No, no, not that. Yeah, they can't. Anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, like, can you, I didn't know if you can patent different aspects like that. Right. Um, you can if you are the originator of it. Yeah, so the Nemesis right. way it's set up is they were able to kind of license that essentially. But I know, I know, again, the article I saw for it confirmed it, but this was like last year, so things could have changed by then. And I don't even, Dave, I haven't heard anything about that game yeah. since that. I haven't last either. Year. I haven't. Um, I hope it still happens because again, that would be fire if we get a Wonder Woman game with that Nemesis system in it. Um, but yeah, moving into the next trailer, uh, it's one that involves the return of our guy Bill Skarsgård in Boy Kills World. I think you mentioned this to me before, uh, Ethan, yeah. last night. This man at the oldest is cup of tea. I know knowing him, but Bill is Bill is on fire right now, man. Bill is doing his thing. Yeah, yeah. This was never a great city, but it was. Oh, that's the archery. <laughs> <laughs> the archery. Cool. Until Hilda Vandercoit took it from us. He gave him to Jensen. Keeps control. They oh, that's uh Phoenix. Calling. Yeah, original OG I'm Phoenix. Watch and cheer as you die. That's me facing televised execution. <laughs> By breakfast cereal mascots. <laughs> Not my happiest watch day. But let me take you back to an even worse one. The day the Vanderkoys killed my family and left me deaf and mute. So I mean, isn't he the kid plan. from uh one, give from Brightburn? Voice. Is it Bright? He's in something. I, I don't know if it's Bright. He's definitely in something. Player one wins. <laughs> It's a horror thing, I'm pretty sure. Or no, he's the I think he's the kid that played the kid in uh whatever we'll talk about it later. So you, he's built again. And that's my boy Andrew Koji from Warrior. Yeah, go go team. The mission is simple. Make the Vanderkoys pay for what they have done. Insert crazy action montage. Sam Raimi producing? Okay. I didn't know he produced me. Uh, zany as fuck. Is it, I love mm-hmm. <laughs> See that barbarian. See, I feel like this tone works in action movies. It's not in horror. Don't do this in horror. No, I mean, because it, it's it does obviously reek of a little bit of Deadpool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like this. Like I was just like, yeah, this is a Ryan Reynolds movie, just more athletic. Okay. Right. Literally, yes. it's literally right. If Ryan Reynolds is in this, it'll make this movie perfect. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is like you'd be perfect casting for this. I don't like this plan. But I'm a big fan of Archer. 
I mean, like you said, Bill has uh, been doing work. You put in work. You have reached your final destination. Yeah, it's also Copley, yeah. I'm gonna help you. Damn. <laughs> That's tough. That's Nobody tough. Definitely sounded like he was gonna help us. Yeah. I, again, I can't, I can't unthinking that Oda said it. I loved Archer's voice, but I think it would be perfect if it was Ryan Reynolds' voice in that. Voice in his inner voice. That would be fire. That would yeah. be fire. Uh, it basically is Ryan Reynolds. But I'll, I'll, I'll take Archer uh, for that sake, too. I'd look up his name, actual actor's name. That's like the industry. Yeah. Um, that's what it is. Uh, 6.5, I guess. Yeah, that's going to be fun, man. It'll be, it'll, it'll be visually. Yeah. yeah visually amusing. Yeah. I'm expecting a bunch of like cool one-shot action sequences. Um, I don't know how much acting Bill Skarsgård can do with just... Hey, this, this is a testament. I mean, if he can act with just his face... I'm like, hey, bro, all you got is your face, man, at this point. You're not talking or speaking. Or like, I mean, in it, I feel face. like his facial expressions were half of his, like, mystique. So, I, yeah. And that was actually, you know, see. that's what fucked yeah, me up. Right. Was, I, I can't yeah. remember what talk show he was on where he was showing that he was actually making the faces in costume. Mm -hmm. I think it was Conan where he could do that. He could cross his eyes without actually having to yeah, do like, yeah, make a little smile and shit. It was Conan, yeah. Uh, like, and yeah, I mean, the thing is, too, he he's he, when it comes to the physicality, he clearly commits to it 110. percent He sold everything he was doing when he was like just reacting like this and stuff. He's like, yes, yeah, that's, that's the job. Get the job. So I, I I'm sure he'll do it well. I want to think that before he ends up in the MCU or DC with how high he is in Hollywood right now. I don't know. He may. It's not. It's only gonna be. It's not gonna be too long. Longer. It's not gonna be too much longer before they. Yeah, I hope. I hope, I hope James Gunn gets him in something. I hope he goes to the DC. I'm not gonna lie. They need some help. They need some help over there. I don't know. I mean, it's uh, a <laughs> these days it's almost like it's better to like do something more original as opposed to hitting up the that that those uh, that those bags cash are cows. that yeah. Disney bag. You got to turn on that Disney bag and what comes at the, what comes with it after. I mean, Disney's kind of having issues with money too, so it's it's a I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, all in all, again, I've said it for the crow. Uh, I haven't seen anything. Uh, I haven't seen a bad Bill Skarsgård performance yet. Um, again, he's again I'm a fanboy now because he's done a lot of horror early on, so I'm I'm, I'm fucking with him I'm here on. He's, 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 he's versatile. Stuff. That's the thing. If you look at all his roles, from Pennywise to the, the the dude at the beginning of Barbarian to the way he looks in The Crow to this dude who's deaf and mute, completely different roles. All of them, completely yeah. vastly different. Uh, to also, this I forget, he was in John Wick Four. Didn't do any action in John Wick Four, but he was very much like a. Uh, had a, had a, he's kind of like the mastermind, the evil mastermind at the top, uh, in mastermind in, uh, in that, and he was great in that too. In John McFour, so he's a very versatile actor. Sure, I, I didn't realize that, that was him. Wow, okay, yeah, and John in, in four, the fourth one, that yeah, was, uh, I, I, saw the top I saw him, uh, the trip out to you fairly Comic Con, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, we're gonna see how it goes. Um, but sure, that's probably all I got for that one. You got anything else? There's, it really wasn't a lot to say about that. I mean, the trailer was dope, but like the we, we, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, Revenge like, Tale. Y'all know I get down with Revenge Tales. I fuck with them heavy. It's yeah. gonna be the action and some cool shit. Uh, getting into the next trailer, uh, one that I think Otis put in, uh, the Borderlands. Mm. Oh, okay. a lot of guns, a lot of guns. Mm. No, oh, no, you're fine, but do y'all your water running? Yeah, yeah, I hear it. Yeah, that's uh, we should cook them. Uh, oh, cooking. Okay. Wait, wait, Jimmy Lee Curtis is a bigger nerd than I thought she was. I'm not. Oh wait, I'm tripping. Did I not share it? Oh no! Yeah, we can't see it. Yeah, I thought it was up on the screen. Um, oh, no. Even oh, no. before we watch this trailer, like I'm expecting, like four. It's it's Kevin Hart heavy, so we'll see. Would you look at that! A ladder. Unfortunately, my design doesn't facilitate this type of. Well, just me to wait. Lions Gate's trying to put some shit out, boy. Treasure hidden in some secret vault. And if you go hunting for it, you better take any help you can get. 
Jamie Lee Curtis is just a big nerd, bro, because she's been into some wild, yeah, random shit the last couple of years. Yeah, I mean, she was in <laughs> everything, everywhere, all at once. Playing a weird ass character. Weirdest, yeah. weirdest character. None of those, uh, <laughs> the that came up like, like, none of those inspire confidence. What, what? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Oh, Bobby Lee. they got, yeah, they got Bobby Lee in this. Looking for this vault? We have something they don't, baby girl. Okay. What? Major issues. This looks like a movie that James Gunn would make minus James Gunn. Which Literally. The, I've, I've talked about it with One Piece, but... This looks like cosplay. <laughs> this looks like, yeah, it's, this it's, looks yes, like, it does. Yes, it does. It's does. like cosplay. Yeah. And I just like I don't, I'm not saying it'd be disrespectful, but this looks like bad cosplay. Like I've seen cosplayers put together better costumes than this. Yes, I've seen way better levels than that. Like what? What is that? Yeah. It... So you ask for it. There's only one of you in the world, and you're special. Uh oh. Kill them all. Is that Jake Gyllenhaal or come from my trip? No, no, no. It's, it's a... <laughs> What's happening right now? I'm expelling the excess lead. I can't go if you're looking at me. Actually, scrap that. I can't. Okay. I really can. Actually, it's okay. Are we really ready for this to finish? Keep looking at me. Oh. All right. They dragged it out. It was funny for a second, and they dragged it out so fast. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's kind of funny. Is it too late to lower my score? <laughs> what was your nah. score before? Uh, Six point five. Before. Right? before. Oh. No, I'm, I'm winning real <laughs> three ish. <laughs> I'm playing three or three ish. Uh, no, that, that, it looks it looks exactly like what I thought it was going to be with a, a, a Kevin Hart, Eli Roth script kind of. It doesn't. Yeah, it's it's trying it's trying to have fun. It's trying to have fun. <sighs> I get Jumanji the emphasis on this, trying, but not that good. But, but I like I like the first Jumanji. I like the first one a lot. Um, yeah, but but it, this I, I, th look. I think Jumanji did it. They did this kind of tone thing. I think it worked because a lot of the actors were comedic, yeah, uh, in nature. Again, yeah, Jack, Jack Black maybe the X Factor. So I'm saying maybe Jack Black for real. Oh, uh, but nah, yeah, this I'm not. I may not watch this. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> if it's <laughs> if, <laughs> if, uh, if I have my if I have my like my my Infinity Pass thing, my theater where I get the free movies, I, I may just you know free movie. Why not? I'll go check it out. You're right. But I'm not paying money to see this. I'm sorry. So I'm not doing it. I'm not. No. I got other things I'd rather go see. Yeah. Yeah. I, and what sucks too is I love Kate Blanchett. Kate Blanchett is a Kate Blanchett is amazing. One of the best actors living today, period. And she's in this. Why? Yeah, I, I I honestly would have gone into this warmer if they would have just like used no characters from the actual games and just like, you know, did completely original stuff and but like what was that? Mm. Actually, yeah, yeah. Lilith, yeah. Lilith in the games, uh, uh, is basically a, a she's she's like Liara from uh, Mass Effect, Charlie. To get a, oh god, no. Like, but I mean, power wise, like I mean, she no. Don't just, make don't compare her to a character I love, <laughs> and now I'm gonna be disappointed even more when I see the shit. I'm gonna be like, no, no, no. Oh god, mm. just like. Why are you... Shout out Dr. Sissoni. Yeah. But, like, no. Just... I don't got nothing else to say about it. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> I don't got nothing else to say yeah, it's... It. It, the, the one thing I did like was I, I liked how Claptrap looked. He looked more like a practical yeah. effect. I'm sure a lot of it was actually CGI. The music not, choice was wrong. That I was agree. not the song you put to Borderlands. I agree. So, Borderlands itself... Have you played the games yet, Charlie, for Borderlands? Like all of fifteen minutes to one with my copy okay. made a long time ago. I got you. But you the should, games you have like a kind of three one day. 
the, the even was a two i think two had that kind of like train heist open that train heist right mm-hmm. and a very kind of song they used for it so it's almost like that kind of energy it's something that if you look at the games and the way they play and the way they open it looks like something that james if james Gunn was to direct a video game it'd been those games and this looks like it was trying to kind of capture some of that like the, the suicide squad or, or guards of the galaxy energy but it clearly didn't do it the right way in my opinion so. garbage yeah. Uh, I only think the software captures like an hour and 20 minutes of footage, so we should probably each pick one trailer each to watch to finish it out. Um, I got mine. Do y'all, yeah, I want to know which ones y'all want to pick. Okay. 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 Uh, um, let's see, we don't, have, we don't have a few left anyway, so I mean, I think we actually have, <laughs> so yeah, we have plenty of apes. I was, gonna, I still want to watch, um. Late night with the devil, that trailer because uh, I haven't seen it yet. That's one. That's only one. That's only what I haven't seen. That and I got a late entry that I forgot to throw into the list. So we'll throw Planet of the Apes up next. You see J Lo yeah. trying to get into a sci fi movie again. What was the he said I, again? What was the first one? So, oh, I guess that counts as sci fi. But that's a, that's yeah. actually a good movie though. So yeah. it was actually good because I mean, Vincent D'Onofrio was a. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. how, to, how do you describe his character in that? That is... That was a lot of a lot. I mean, a lot of a lot. solid it movie. Worked. It worked. It worked. It's yeah, uh, the, the last trailer I dropped into the the chat is a uh, horror movie that's on Netflix that's coming out. Atlas, I think it's called. Yeah. 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 And then I put the Elden Ring one trailer for a little bit. I feel like these movies have been underrated since they dropped. I don't because I know a lot of people they're like under, them, but I just been, don't be seeing people talk about them. I don't know if they're underrated. They're they're very pretty well regarded. good. They make good. lots of money too. Yeah. Ever since that, I can't remember the what was the reboot they did with uh what, was it James Franco was in that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, when he like showed that's when it became good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The originals from back in the day in the sixties and seventies made lots of money too. They're a massive franchise as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a, there's a lot of connotations behind those that are like yeah we, yeah we don't know. I mean look at these effects though these are no, this looks I don't know how incredible I don't know how far ahead this is Caesar Caesar's dead by this one right yeah he's, this he's, is he's this is hundreds of years uh yeah okay because I'm like I've only seen like three I think of the the Caesar ones I never watched anyone after that yeah there's this three of it yeah this three Caesar. Legend says, "Ape." Oh, yeah, Caesar has, yeah. Ape side by side. You're, you're up to date if you saw all three. Yeah, it's the fourth one. Why do they hunt her? She's smarter than most. Oh, you know who that is? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's old girl from the Witcher series. Do not tell us everything. Cirilla. Yes, Siri. These special effects, man. I'm so interested to see how much of it was special effects and how much of it was practical. I don't think any of his actual practical apes. I don't know. I feel like they had to at least have like a mask or something. I don't know. If they if they did all that, all special effects, the budget for this yeah. would have to be astronomical. I mean, that's it is. There, there are no real apes in these movies. Well, not real apes, but I mean, as far as people wearing like masks or like suits yeah. and oh, like suits. mocap. You have a mocap. Yeah, I got you. Like with how CG so like the mouse move and the face wrinkles and stuff are. Yeah, it's worked, but it's worked. Yeah, that's Jesus. I mean, that's that's how you make a good trailer. That's what you do. Yeah, oh, it's very compelling. I so I I don't know then. Do you know this Otis? If it has Andy Circus, I, I'm guessing it doesn't have him back, and it may not have a what's his name. Uh, not Matthew, the, the director that did the first, the last two. The, the, he just did the, he just did Batman, the Batman that movie. Matt Reeves. Matt Reeves. So Matt Reeves. Matt Reeves. He underrated right now. Matt Reeves been putting out some heat, boy. He I don't know he's, gonna, he's, he's rated. He's he's rated high. But mm-hmm. the thing is, I don't think he did this movie because he he was doing the Batman. So he the last two movies, Apes movies, were by him and they were great. But he didn't do this one, so I'm not sure how 
you know. I thought he's working on right. something else. I thought the Batman got pushed back a year. Which yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll see how how it turns out. I mean, tonally, this did look a little more up tempo than uh, some of the Reeves ones. Like this is very heavily shot on the combat. Yeah. Like that was a, uh, of course, that was the the out the not the outlier, but the the B story within it. But it was really the character development that they focused on. This yeah. is this this is war. This is like you know action. You saw a lot of running. They, we'll, we'll see what it looks yeah, like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Still mm-hmm. Um Yeah, I'm going to see. It. Of course, I'm going to see it. Of course, I saw the other ones in theater. Yeah, it looks and it's also one of those things they said IMAX. It's the kind of movie that brings you to the theater. You want to mm-hmm. see it on a bigger screen. Yes, I do. Crowd with popcorn. Yes, I do. Yeah, it's this. You need, you need to get seats for this one. Like this yeah. is one of those action movies where you I need all the. Have you, have you guys ever been to like a 3D movie theater where they spray like the wind and water and shit at you? Oh, 4D. 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 Yeah. Not 3D. Yeah, 4D. Oh, yeah. yeah. This this is what I would love to do, go go for for this. I feel like it'd be sick. That'd be a lot, man. But you may, look you, you may not smell it. Smelling apes, though. If you got to smell the apes, that may be kind of uh, bit too much. Yeah. I think most <laughs> movies will smell musty, though. If we, if we keep it up, <laughs> most movies just smell musty from this, the way they, like nowadays, the way they, like, it's like they, all the movies nowadays where they feel like sweat and must on people. Mm-hmm. Like on some mm-hmm. Michael Bay shit and Transformers, where everybody's fucking sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just know everything's musty. Yeah. Uh, but moving into the next one, uh, Late Night with the Devil. This is one I'm definitely excited for. Uh, just get into the horror bag again. Make sure we can see it. Oh, yeah. Sure. Put it on. I got this done. I ain't gonna figure it yeah, out. I'm hyped for this one. I'm really hyped, actually. Four. <laughs> now here's Mr. Midnight, Jack. Oh, good evening, Night Owls. In the Joker vibes. Mm-hmm. That dude is in everything. Shudder's producing this too, so anybody that knows Shudder's like the horror streaming service. Yeah. The Netflix of horror. I really hope you love it. God, I hope you love it. Please love it. Love it. I'm trying to host a passion syndicated talk show. And I'm trying to help you keep it on the air. <laughs> We all know how important it is to keep our sponsors and affiliates happy, but in my humble opinion, there is only one person who really matters in this whole darn crazy business. And that is you, our viewer. You're meddling with things you don't understand. Whoa! Now, as you know, here on Night Owls, we think it's very important to keep an open mind. Hey, Himitism. Please right. welcome Dr. June Ross Mitchell and Lily, the young... I love how it looks. It looks like it's in the 70s. Mm-hmm. I really don't think it's I mean, an idea, Jack. Yeah, their oh, building aesthetic is very cerebral. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. please stay tuned for a live television first as we attempt to commune with the devil. Oh, yeah, you're stupid. <laughs> Lily, can you hear me? Good to see you again, Jack. Lily, return to me. Oh. This isn't about ratings anymore. No one's going anywhere. How could you let it happen, Jack? How could you let it happen? Please be warned, anyone with young children in the room. Go to the Go to the nice house. You're about to oh. see. You okay, Jack? It's <laughs> profoundly disturbing and shocking. Oh. You get out there oh. at midnight. And you knock him dead. Yeah, I gotta see this. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was pretty I got, good. I got, I got, that was I pretty good. I, um, I, I love the idea of this because it, it, it's very reminiscent to or social media. It is nowadays where people run out of ideas and it's like, all right, we gotta up this. We gotta up this. We gotta up this, and it leads to you talking to the devil on national syndicated television. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, literally, literally, I had not seen series. this trailer. Start I saw another show. I saw an older trailer, like the original teaser trailer. It didn't show any details about what the plot was, and I was interested. I'm definitely locked in for this. This is going to be... Did, hey, I already know we're going to talk about it when we see it. We're going to be comparing it a lot to The Exorcist. I already know. Oh, um, Yeah. I uh, mean, this looked pretty clean. I mean, that old school, like, vintage look on the camera, it, it I don't know. It, it adds another level of grit to it, too. Uh it's part of what made Sinister scary too. Watching those old uh, films right? back too, like the, just the graininess of it. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. Like horror in 4K is just almost too clean when yes. you scale it back like that. 
Mm. I completely. I think that's why found footage was so we hit so well for a lot of people when it exactly. It's the right. authenticity. But you're 100 percent right. Mm-hmm. Both of y'all are right. Uh, Otis, you mentioned the whole idea of 4K. I mean, if something looks too clean, it's like there's nothing. I can't get scared by it. Almost in a way, having that grit, having that kind of like that grime, uh, that Toby Hooper when he did um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, where it looks like it looks, it looks very like oh, like a, the same way they did with certain like um, you mentioned. Of course, like with the it follows. It follows. It came out in the you know late 2000s, but of course that movie had like that kind of 80s aesthetic and it kind of made it work too. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's. It means a lot, and this—I think it's a—it's a bottle movie. It seems like it all takes place in that studio and on, on that mm-hmm. one set. What they're doing that one screen of that show, that episode. So it's—I'm a hundred percent on board. What I'm looking forward to is I know we're going to get it in there. Is a bunch of monologues from the devil because I know the crowd's locked in. Like the crowd can't escape. They can't. Escape. So I'm excited yeah, to see what kind of monologues that little girl has as a devil to the crowd, like in how that operates. And to your point, it all taking place in one location, seeing like the inevitable destruction of the set because you know it's going to be all clean and pristine starting off. But at the end of it, you probably have bodies everywhere, limbs everywhere, blood everywhere. I'm excited to see that progression. This is going to be Likewise. sick. This is going to be sick, man. I'm excited. Likewise. Likewise. You said it comes yeah, out on Friday? Yes. Yeah, it's the 22nd. I, <laughs> yes. I didn't even look at the date. I was so like enthralled by the damn trailer itself. I didn't look at the date. I'm <laughs> oh, you got to. We got to. Yeah, this will be our, our first uh, actual review, pretty much, to be about this one coming up. Right? If y'all want to do that, yeah. I'm watching it for Friday when it comes out. I don't know when, if, when y'all can get to it. I don't know what y'all can yeah, do. Probably the following Friday, this uh, big weekend for work. Okay, yeah, I'll probably yeah, say I'll get my boss to me as soon as possible because we get the live show next week anyway. So the following, oh, well, yeah, we can, yeah, that works out. That works out. Yeah, this be dope. I'll it's probably put dope. something out on my channel about it, Ethan. If you want to review it a little bit earlier, but on in here, we can cover it that following week because I already yeah, know watch this I'm one and like talk about it. Okay, um, yeah, yeah. I'm for it. Moving into my last pick, the last trailer because I think we're gonna go a certain. I don't know how long. I don't we get a certain amount of time on the free version of this software before it like can't hold anymore. <laughs> okay, like hour twenty five. That's okay, we're to pushing a little bit faster. Yeah. You're pushing um, but this is one. It's a uh, trailer for Monkey Man. I saw this. Yo, times, I said yo. I'm excited for this. I did see. I, I did see it already though. But I don't care. Watch it again. You got buff too, Dip Patel. Mm, yeah, he did. Mm-hmm. If he would have did that for a Green Knight, I might have been more interested. Oh yeah, Green Knight. They brought fire. Or when you play yeah, Zuko in uh... I'm gonna hear Father Revenge Hills. Yeah, man. Until they face the protector. Look at the cinematography in this movie. Yeah. The White Monkey. Is this his directorial debut? You are. You are a beast. Who's directing it? Dev Patel, the guy that's the lead. Oh shit, I don't know. In this city, the rich don't see us as people. So he's the he's the main actor and the director? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If I know if it, I don't know if it's debut or not. Everyone who forgets their beliefs doesn't turn out well for them. This is not the place to work if you can't handle that sort of stuff. Get it. Get it. Every day. I got this music. Oh, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is where they stole it from. It's literally where it stole it from. Not even, not even sampling. Nice headlight. Let's boogie. I don't know why I love that song. I don't know why. It's, it's great. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The hands. Oh, I got him. Look at these shots, man. Look at these shots. Woo! It's like the raid. It's time to remember. Jesus Christ. Drop kick is crazy. A roundhouse drop kick? <laughs> he said. Just one small ember. It's a fire shot. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. 
go. Oh, nice. Love it. Pocky in Dubai. Let's go. Go ahead and sell him like that. Fire. Literally fire. Yeah. John Wick who? Uh, yeah. <laughs> he said John Wick who? Yeah. I'm there. I'm yeah, there. Bro. I'm yeah. there. Now... I would like to know, I don't know if you guys know, is this in any way connected to Hit Monkey, the character from Marvel? Doubt it. Oh. Oh, the, oh, the oh yeah, Monkey the animated the series ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. Yeah. I doubt it. I, doubt it. Like, I don't think it, I don't think it has a wearing a suit with a monkey face on, and that character also had a revenge tale for his origin as far as like his people getting murdered in the mountains. I don't know if it was in but, India, though. Yeah, I don't think it was set in India. I, don't think. I highly doubt it's connected. I, I don't think it's connected. I really don't. I'll be curious. Well. Also, he's also like, an assassin. Yeah. I don't think this guy's an assassin at all. I mean, the way he... You know, it's a revenge tale. He's approaching this shit like he's an assassin. It's like he's infiltrating areas and... I don't know. We, we, again, we're going to see. I, I got to do some research to see. see. It's going to be sick. It's going to be sick. It's going to be sick. The action is going to be sick. It's pretty clean. Yeah. The clean. comedy's going to be there from the looks of it, too. I, mm -hmm. I may see this a couple times. I'm not going to lie to you. And so, uh, kudos to... I'm not sure how Jordan Peele and Dev Patel got hooked up. I don't think they they have they done anything together before Jeff. I don't think they have, have they? Maybe he he was he was wasn't green. in he wasn't in Nope, was he? In like no. the the video store, it was him. Okay, no, that was other guy. That was a, like a white dude. I think. <laughs> oh no, or, or maybe. Uh, I thought there was like a dude. I thought it was an Indian guy in the store before that guy took over. Oh no, yeah, but that was an older gentleman. That was not. Yeah, that was okay. Him. Okay. Besides that, maybe not, it's not. As far as I know, I can't remember anything he's been in of Jordan Peele before. Yeah. So maybe they know each other through something else, I guess. Yeah. Jordan people be he be meeting those random people. Like he's doing that he shit does. with uh not Kojima. What's the dude's name with the, the video game guy? Kojima. You know what I'm talking about? I think it's, I think it's, huh? it's Kojima, right? Is it Kojima? Yeah. Okay, I couldn't I couldn't tell. I didn't remember if I was I fucking name up is. or not. He be the most random people. Like Jordan Peele be meeting niggas. I, like, I guess he he met him through a colleague somehow. I mean, he's a he's a blurred though, so it's it yeah. circles yeah. up. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I'm gonna look it up in a little bit to see if Monkey Man's connected to hit Monkey Dog, but I'm excited for this. Mm -hmm. no, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely excited I'm, for I'm, it. I'm thinking seven and a half, eight. I'm saying at least eight. I mean, just purely on the this this way that cinematography how it was shot, and also this is a strong actor. Yeah, yeah, he's he is. Gorgeous. He's a strong actor. Uh, so I'm, I mean, I'm saying at least eight, at least eight. That's my my uh, my wager. Where's you, Charlie? Yeah. Uh, I would probably guess. I may just say I may say eight. I ain't gonna lie. I may say eight because it's gonna be it's gonna again kind of similar to what I did with with the crow where it's gonna be an action revenge flick. Those I usually put pretty high. Again, Django's a favorite movie, so I, I love revenge tales. Um, this is literally just like hunting down people off a checklist, some dope action scenes, doing some badass stuff, and then cool music, and then call it a movie. But this one does uh, look like it has some story involved. This one does look like it has like some. Yeah, I mean, Death Patel hit like any time he was his dialogue felt just as compelling as the action scenes. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing what you can yeah, do. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm hey, bro, I ain't gonna lie. It's hard for me to believe this isn't connected to this character at all. Like, just <laughs> looking at the like he's a white monkey in a suit, like killing people and shit. I, I don't know. Plus, I think he was. I think his. I think he lived in the Himalayan mountains before he was. Uh, he was trained. But we're, I'm, no, not, I'm not gonna say it's not. Asia. I don't say it's not connected. It's just. It's too, it's, I don't know. That's no, why I was my first time I saw it. I'm like, this, I'm but like, the thing is, that looks like an actual monkey. This movie's about a person wearing a monkey mask. They're not the same thing. Yeah, I'm not saying it's like the same thing, but I'm saying like it's based off that character. Is my is my thought process? Because your protector is the white monkey, and he's literally wearing a suit and wearing a monkey. Maybe it's mask based off that same the deity. That That's I, what I'm saying. Yeah, because yeah. the original Possibly. origins is that deity Possibly, he's talking yeah. about from back in the day. That could be it too. Um, I'm not. The well, I know I know a little bit about Hindu mythology from study from undergrad, but that was more so about the other guys like Shiva and, all, and whatnot. I didn't learn about the white monkey whatsoever because it looked like they showed Kali uh briefly in that trailer too, didn't they? With the blue mask, the blue face, and that so. Kali, yeah, because Kali's one of death, so that's Shiva. No, Kali is so, a um. Let's see here, because it's a, a, it the blue, right? Because she was the one that drank the poison, turned blue. Yes, let me see which one it is. Let me see. 
Because Kali's a deathly one in this account. Well, yeah, because she was the god of war. And yeah. It's got a couple things. I'm just, I can't remember. So the, god, the god is Kali. Let me look that up real quick. I know we're running out of time here. But yeah, we, as, as, as he's looking that up. Um, yeah, that was definitely Kali yeah. in the movie. Yeah. Because oh, okay. she has a blue face and several arms. Remember the trailer that showed that the, the, had the tongue sticking out and had all those arms, the blue arms, with all the weapons. That yeah, because she was wife, isn't it? Because I know him and his wife combined to form the Megazord and, and like Indian <laughs> Hindu mythology and shit. Yeah, possibly. They, they literally come together to form a giant version of themselves, like eight arms. I'm sorry. It's, I'm sorry if that's insensitive. Um, uh, but yeah, that was, that's from what I remember. I can't remember. Maybe his wife. I can't remember his wife's name. So yeah, so it it is. So it's she. Uh, she is the first of the ten um, Mahadi Maha 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 Vidyas in the Hindu tantric tradition. Kali embodies Shakti, feminine energy, creativity, and fertility, and is the incarnation of uh, Parvati. Wife of great Hindu god Shiva. So Kali okay. is also known as destroying uh, ignorance and she helps those who strive for god, knowledge of God. And she is the goddess of the goddess of death, essentially. Cool. Uh yeah, guys. Hopefully again, my bad. Again, hey, that may have been a wild comment to say with the biggest story. I don't know. I'm sorry about that, but it is what it is. Mm. Uh, I said it. Ain't no P- back praise Megazord. Praise Oh Megazord. man. But again, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we covered a lot of content here. A lot of this content we're going to be covering, consuming. I'm probably going to be streaming some of Dragon's Dogma as well as Rise of Ronin on uh, my YouTube channel. And we, we may stream some here on the stream. If uh, Well, no, there's a lot of single players. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what we'll see what happens. We'll show you all our we'll builds so you all can, we can join y'all's games in Dragon's Dogma. Right. So we'll, we'll definitely be covering a lot of these films and these series. We for sure covering Acolyte. I'm not giving these niggas a choice for that one. I, I normally, it's a democracy here. It is not for that. We're covering that. I don't. Well, we have access to it. So it's, yeah, it's, <laughs> no, it's, it's right. always for democracy. What do you mean? Oh yeah. <laughs> the, oh god. Just spread, spread democracy. Um, but sure. This <laughs> super thing. democracy. Super, super. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> super Earth and super. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Super Earth and super democracy is crazy. Uh, yeah. So guys, this has been Captain Diesel, Alush V, and Professor E King with comics, Ethan Murphy, and we will see you guys next time. Peace. Peach. Praise Megazord. <laughs>